everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Maria I thank you very much for being here today's video we're gonna talk about relationship breakup and we're gonna ask the angels and get some guidance on how to deal with this situation so stay connected okay so in today's video we're gonna talk about relationship breakup and I'm going to do some reading and I'm going to ask the angels uh, how we can deal with this. Um, I mean, all of us have been through it. So let's see what they uh, can tell us to help uh, move forward and feel better regarding this kind of situation. On today's uh, reading, I'm going to be using Healing with the Angels Oracle deck from The Ring Virtue and also the Archangel Raphael uh, Healing Oracle cards. Okay, so we can get some healing messages actually because that's uh, what we need the most when we go through this kind of situation, okay? So, let's see what they tell us, okay? Yes, okay, the first card is up. So, the first card is friendship. It's a good message. So, um, with friendship, uh, what they want us to do regarding this is to actually look for your friends, look for people that actually care for you, for your family and people that you consider and that you love and that you know they love you truly, it doesn't matter why or how. So stay with them, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a very delicate timing. So try to be around them as much as you can, don't stay alone for a long time. You know, uh, sleepovers or go to the cinema with your friends, do some stuff that will take your mind out of the situation that will make you forget about it and think and dedicate time to yourself. So uh, by connecting to your friends, they want you to really um, uh, do like what friends do, you know, just be happy, smile, cook together, watch a movie, like I said, go to a park, go to the gym, do some stuff that... Uh, is going to uplift your energy, that is going to connect you to yourself and that are going to uh, help you move forward and just forget about it and feel better um, in time. So the more you stay with your friends, the more you connect to them, the more you have them around you, the more help you will get not only from your friends, but also from the angels because um, this kind of relationship, when we have a truly meaningful, loving relationship with someone else, I'm not talking about um, husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend or any sort of things like this. I'm talking about really uh, loving relationship like family, like friends. Uh, when we are connecting in this kind of energy, it's also a way that the angels connect to us. It's also a way that they uh, um, uplift our energy. They use them to help us. So uh, through your friends, they want you to... Um, uh, just be happy and uh, be with yourself again, you know, connect to yourself, uh, bring back your true self and be happy again and play around, okay? So let's see what else they tell us, any other tip they can give us. Let's see. Okay, here you go. Oh, okay, study. The study card came up. So regarding study, when you talk about study in, uh, in a way to overcome and deal with the breakup, it's really like study in a way that you will be, uh, try to find something that you've been thinking about studying for a long time. You've been thinking about learning. You've been thinking about getting to know something better. So uh, dedicate this time to actually uh, concentrate on something that you're really, uh, you really care for, you really want uh, to accomplish. So um, by studying, by connecting to this energy also, it's also going to help you heal your heart. It's also going to help you move forward because you're dedicating your time to think uh, about something that you really care, about something that is really meaningful for you. So by um, uh, working on this, by learning more, by... Uh, uh, uplifting your energy in this kind of things, in, in things that you truly uh, want to learn, is actually going to disconnect you from this negative energy that the breakup can bring you. So when you study, when you search for things, for new things, to learn new things, to start something new, like, I don't know, go, if you've been thinking, for example, thinking about, they're talking, uh, telling me about yoga. So 
uh, if you've been thinking for a long time to either start yoga classes or to either learn to be a teacher, you know, this is, uh, this is actually a good time because you will be dedicating your full time to it. You'll be dedicating your full energy to it. So this is going to help you to move forward. This is going to help you to change and, and actually really change your energy regarding this breakup and just let it go and just heal your heart and forget, forget about it and dedicate time specifically to yourself. Okay, um, let's get one more card from this deck. And then we, we, swapped, we swapped decks. Okay, let's see. and there you go serenity beautiful uh yeah so you see all these cards they actually connect to each other you know when you um when you uh, when you're surrounded by friends surrounded by this loving energy and friendship energy you will start to feel more serene you will start to feel more connected to yourself when you study when you do something that you care something that you really want to accomplish you will feel more serene you will feel um, more connected to you more connected to your energy more centered and that's a way that is gonna help you so uh, not only by being with your friends and studying they're also telling me to tell you that uh, try to meditate try to be really be serene you know like if uh, if this feeling is coming up if you're feeling sad suddenly and um, or mad or angry just acknowledge this uh, energy and swap and change the energy you know straight away by like when you acknowledge that you're feeling that bad think about yourself think about how important you are think about uh, what truly matters to you if it's staying in this energy or if it's actually changing and, and feeling better so they want you to be serene they want you to be calm they want you to be peaceful so you can move through this uh, period uh, with more ease so try to do some meditation try to um, be calm be centered do some energy healing stuff that is actually going to help you with your energy is going to help you uplift your energy is going to help you to be happier and what they're telling me strongly is that this is a time that you need to dedicate to yourself you need to dedicate your actions to yourself don't think about anyone else do things that actually makes you happy things that actually make you happy uh, that actually um, is going to bring a smile into your face so dedicate this time to you so you can be more serene you can be more centered you can be more peaceful and understand why this happened to you understand the lessons you can learn from it and move forward so um you know by like i told you when this feeling uh, just comes up try to heal it take a, a deep breath acknowledge you're feeling that bad and that that does not belong to you that is not the feeling that, that that's not who you are and just breathe and imagine this feeling uh, just getting out of your body getting out of your system so you can you know get, uh, like clean your your energy and let go of this feeling so you can be connected to yourself and happier and uh, moving forward always moving forward always slowly healing and slowly uh, taking a step towards yourself towards your own happiness okay now i'm gonna use the archangel Raphael. he's the angel of healing he's the one that helps us uh to really heal the situations heal our hearts heal uh any um uh, misunderstandings heal anything that is uh painful so you know it, I'm, I'm, i i got the message from him saying that he really wants to connect to us in this case because he helps us a lot uh, when this kind of situation uh, happens to us so let's see what uh, he has to tell us okay he's here <laughs> just like i told you call upon archangel Raphael for help that's the message that is saying under it dear archangel Raphael, i ask you for your healing help with this situation with this breakup thank you for your divine healing intervention <laughs> just like i told you um so whenever you feel that it's getting hard for you to like i told you i know it's not that easy just to uh, 
uh, you know, get out of this feeling. I know it's not easy. We've all, we've all been there. I know how it is. I know the feeling, you know, trust me, we, like I told you, it's not something that happened specifically to you. It happens to everyone. It's a way of learning. It's a way of growing. So he's asking you to connect to him whenever you feel sad, whenever you feel angry, or you just cannot understand why you cannot understand how, like, how did you let this uh, relationship reach this point or how, uh, like, why did this happen to you if you were a good person or, you know, just stop wondering why ask yourself what you can learn from it and that's uh how you can do it ask archangel Raphael to heal your heart ask archangel Raphael to heal the situation to help you move forward to help you um dedicate uh time to yourself to help you forget about it to help you learn from it and be a better person you know be the, the better person and just uh, grow from it, grow from the situation. So whenever you feel sad or angry or any uh, uh, negative energy or feeling comes to you, ask for Archangel Raphael and he's going to be there. And you're going to feel an instant change and shift on your energy when you call upon him. So whenever you feel like this, ask him to surround you with his uh, green healing light. Surround your whole body with his healing light and help you to understand and help you to heal and help you to just don't feel like this anymore and he will be there you will feel I, I ensure you you will feel an instant change on your energy an instant instant um, uh, uplifting of your energy so ask for his help anytime all the time okay when you go to the shower you know if you're feeling sad ask him to come and help you when you go to sleep just before you sleep ask him to surround you with his healing energy throughout the night so you can wake up feeling better you can wake up feeling uplifted you can wake up um you know with a step forward with one step uh forward towards you towards your happiness so always ask for his help he's gonna be there for you you know, he's going to be holding your hand. You're not alone. He wants you to know that you're not alone. He wants you to know that you can count on him with this situation. And he understands your feelings. He understands uh, what you've been going through. But this was something that had to happen. So something better will come for you. So sometimes it's hard for us to understand why some things happened. And, you know, you, it's really hard. We just get really closed in this situation we block the, we block ourselves but there's always a reason you know there's always a why uh, like not a why <laughs> how can i explain not a why you don't have to be asking you why this happened to you in a way in a negative way you have to ask you how you can learn from it how you can be a better person next time you know and move forward you know just let it go leave things to the past the past is gone you have to think and dedicate time for the now for how you're gonna move how you're gonna change this how you're gonna uh, be um, better tomorrow don't think about future far away future think about in a few hours what you can do you know like on the next hour what you can do to feel better and then you keep moving and doing it like this what you can do now what what can you do now to uh, you know to smile to laugh what you can do now to feel better eat whatever you want to eat you know eat things that you like that you enjoy that is gonna make you happy because eating also makes us happy or um, uh, like I told you watch movies uh, watch a funny TV show or go to a park, you know, connecting to the nature is so important this time because the nature really helps us uh, to suck our energy, our negative energy and clear it. So go to the nature if you can, go to a park, go for a walk on bare feet, you know, touch the, the, uh, the, um, the trees, sit on the grass, something like this, go, be in contact with nature if you can. Even if it's just walking outdoors, it also helps you. So uh, that's the message for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped, it helped you somehow. It helped you just to um, feel a little bit better, to give you hopes that uh, this is not the end of the world, the, 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 the road. This is, uh, um, you know, you, it's, 
it's something like I told you, it's something that had to happen. So something even bigger and greater can come. You can open space for something better to come to your life. So I hope this helped you somehow. I hope you feel better. I wish you guys all the best. Uh, please subscribe to my channel so you can uh, receive notifications for the next videos. I'm always connecting to you guys. If you have any suggestions, if you have any questions, anything that you want me to do a reading on, any topic or anything you've been wondering about, just let me know in the comments below so I can do the next readings according to what you guys need. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Go on my Facebook page also so we can connect directly and I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you so much again. Have a beautiful week. Namaste.